Hello everyone, my name is Shazeb Hamid and welcome to AI Sciences. Today I am going to show you how you can develop a password cracker with the help of one simple library that is random, right? And of course this will be a Python project and this will be a very easy project, right? So what we will do in this is, we will just take a password and we will put in some loops and we will make it guess the password, right? And until uh, you know the password is guessed, we will not do anything, right? So it is sort of a brute force, uh, you know, methodology in which we are getting words or wordnet out of which there can be a password, right? So it of course takes time if you are trying to crack the password with the help of this methodology, right? So to do that, the first thing that we need to do is we need to import random. I have already written it. So let's write import random here. What is the next step? The next step is actually to put in some characters. Here we will tell it uh, what are the characters out of which the uh, uh, you know password will be made, right? So the characters that I am taking into account are small ABCs as well as the uh, one to three up to nine, right? So why am I taking this? Um, because the longer it is, the more time it takes, right? So I need it to be uh, very small for now, right? But you can do this, you can increase it, you can add characters, you can add anything you want, right? When you are doing it actually to crack some password. So after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a character list and I'm going to make a list out of these characters. So characters, list and then it is called character list okay so what is the next step the next step is to actually select a password yes so for example if we say that s1 is the password right of course in the form of a string so this is a password let's run that now we need to actually get to this password the first thing that we need to do is we need to enter a guess so let's say that the guess is empty right and what are the next steps the next step is actually to check when this guess is equal to this right so let me show you how we can do that so what we will do is we will say that there is a while loop right and in this we will be checking if the guess that we are making is not equal to password that is a very simple while loop right so until that happens what we need to do is we need to say that guess will be out of the random choices right so what we want to do is we want to stick to the length of this right uh, the random choices should be uh, uh, st sticking to the length of it right so we do not uh, need to make you know uh, random choices uh, which are a combination of three or four or five or seven words right so we only need to make combinations of two words right which is s and one right one is here and s is here okay so what i am going to write here is random dot choices and in this i am going to write character underscore list right and after that i'm going to write k is equal to length of password so password length will be taken here like this okay so this is the next step right we are taking this character list and we are putting it into the uh, you know random choice right and the choice that we are making uh, should be of this length which is two right and what is the next step the next step is actually to just print out actually it is c h a r there is no s so at the end we need to print out the guest password right so let's see that we are printing out string of the guest password which is in the word guess right so let's see what it does 
so it is making all of these matrices in which there are combinations of two password right so if the length was seven it would have made a lot more combinations so that's why i only chose two right so let it complete right it is making all of the combinations that are possible we will move forward right so after that what is the next step the next step is if guess is equivalent to list of password right then we should print out something like your password right so what i did was i showed you how to do this right but we need to make a system with the help of we break it when the password reaches so i'm writing it here then we'll copy it into the while loop right so print your password and then uh, we will say the plus sign is there right and then this one and then we will use the join command dot join and in this i am going to write guess okay and if that happens then we need to break right so let's say input first and after that we need to break okay let's take this above right so control a control c here and then let's stop it for an instant and what we need to do right now is we need to copy this into the while loop so let's write this right here so if guess is equal to list then we'll do that and then in the if statement we have all of these three things okay so there we go now when we reach s1 it should stop so um, there we go it is telling us that our password is s1 right so in the same way you can make your own password cracker as well it is a very uh, simple methodology it is uh, giving you a combination of words with the help of which you can uh, attack uh, the password that is already present right so you can add more characters and make it more complex as well so this is it for today um, password cracker for you with the help of python in the next video we will be watching other applications like this with the help of python